Tesco has about 600 people employed in Killorden, with another 120 based in Carcevine, and worldwide we have about 2,000 in total. Fexco organisation is Manage Business Solutions and Outsourcing. We're working in an outsourcing environment, so a lot of our customers outsource their organisations, their contact centres to us, and Teleopti Workforce Management is one of the platforms that supports us in delivering that. Our perspective in Fexco, we want to be able to make sure that we understand what the customers are saying, we're listening to them and we're making it simple for them. It's easy to contact us, it's easy for us to support them in resolving their query. The channels that we would use currently within the businesses will be your inbound and outbound telephony, your email, your web chat, um, your SMS and most recently we started doing social media. Fexco would still use the traditional metrics in terms of service level performance, average handling time, productivity and adherence, but more predominantly over the last number of years for customer experience, we have implemented net promoter score, customer satisfaction, customer effort score, and they're becoming more important for us in terms of customer experience measurement and loyalty of the brand. Teleopti Workforce Management has integrated with Genesis Pure Cloud, so it will support us ensuring we have a greater level of accuracy on our forecast and our productivity, which ultimately will drive our vision for customer experience and listening to the customer needs. We really need to let the voice of the employee come through. It's hugely important um, so that people feel that they're part of the journey that they're listened to, that they can communicate with us, that we can take on board their, any concerns that they have and really work in collaboration. We would gather agent feedback by doing regular surveys. As an example, recently we would have issued surveys on behalf of the Teleopti workforce management team where we asked them if they wanted to continue to use preferencing and we had a 100% response rate with the resounding yes um, on that particular survey which was very beneficial and allowed us to implement it across the business. There's more power to the agents where they can now do shifts off themselves, where they can go on, you know, on their mobile phones now, there's an app, the app is really good, where they can now actually go and see their schedules, they don't have to be ringing in, finding out what time I'm working, two weeks time or a month's time, it's all there for them. We also introduce what's called preferences, where people have the ability to preference different shift categories, whether they want an early shift or a late shift. And this is very useful because it gives at least a bit of ownership to their schedules back to the agents. The My Time app is an application you have on your phone where it has your schedule out for your working schedule from two to three weeks from the current day. So you can plan your, your time around it and at the weekends you can see what time you're working on the Monday so there's no nasty surprises of, of having to get up early on a Monday morning but it's very useful for when you're at home to see, the, see your schedule. For example I play a lot of sports so there's days I need to finish early so I don't mind starting earlier. I can see other people's schedules and I can ask them, I can see that what time they're on and if they're early I can request to trade with them. And if they accept it, I get the early shift so I can make my, my football training. So it's, it's very useful. We have an initiative at the moment, it's carpooling. So we have personnel coming into work together, um, which is very good. What they do is they schedule people who, I believe it's, uh, who live more than 20 minutes away. They put them on the same schedule so they know what time they're working and they can, they can carpool to work. The Teleopti forecasting module has been a breath of fresh air for us compared to our previous workforce management system. Um, the visibility it gives is a massive improvement. So for example, when creating intraday profiles with our previous workforce management system, I'd look back 13 weeks, but I had no visibility of those 13 weeks. I just had to look at the calendar and decide, okay, those weeks were anomaly weeks, I need to exclude them. Whereas with Teleopti, I can look back at a Monday for the last six or 12 months. Uh, it gives me a great graphical representation and I can see what anomalies, if there was an outage or if there was a really busy spike, and I can pick uh, all the money to scrape my exact profile going forward. So it really has made life a lot easier for us for creating more accurate intraday forecasting profiles. 
the intraday planning is really useful, I suppose. It's, it's on the day, it's how we react to the plan on the day. So we can see very quickly after an hour in the morning when we open that it's going to be a busy day ahead. So we know based on the reforecasted section of Teleopti that we need so many extra agents and therefore it allows us to react quickly and to get agents to work an extra hour, an hour and a half in the evening so we can hit our service level and associated KPIs. What I find best about the Teams module is it provides a single view. So on the bottom of the screen we can see how we're performing uh, and therefore it allows us to react on the top half of the screen then where we have the view of the uh, agent schedule. So for example if we're, if we're understaffed we can ask agents to stay on for some overtime, we can reduce some off phone activities such as coaching, we can move it to another day. And on the flip side then if we're, if we're overstaffed we can look at doing further coaching providing holidays, so it's, it's a one-stop shop really, so that's, that's what we find really useful about Teams. We might have a team leader on one of our sites, but they're able to manage their agents on a different site. We treat it as one site, even though it is split into two locations, and using some of our own built-in filters, we are able to monitor and be able to assist the agents in both locations. So the, the multi-site uh, benefits us as a business because no matter what location we're in, everything appears as one. Well, Teleopti Workforce Management, it's one of the top two technologies that we have in our contact centre. So it's hugely important to us that that's a key partnership that we have in place. We've been using Teleopti now on and off for about 10 years. We first started using it in 2003, right up to about 2009. And then we came back in 2015 and have been using it since. One of the main reasons I said we moved back to Teleopti is their ability to collaborate with us, to work with Fexco, so that we can utilise the system to the best of its capabilities. Working with the Teleopti team is, is very collaborative. Uh, when, you're, when you're making contact, they really make an effort to understand what we, we need as a customer. And that's something we really value. It's easy to navigate. Uh, it's laid out and, and logically structured. The modules are very clear. So it's a very easy platform to use and great visibility. So you can work with large data sets very easily. You can take information out and work with it and then you can bring it back in. It's a very adaptable product. What's next for us with Teleopti is moving away from an on-premise model to a cloud-based solution. And what we particularly like about that is the flexibility and scalability that it's going to give us as an outsourcer. Uh, so that'll be far more attuned to our needs as we have fluctuating um, demands and in, in, in the work that we're dealing with. <laughs>